Good day, all. Ready for another awesome Sunday school session? Me too. Let's get it. Right, so today is the Sunday school session for uh, November 22nd, 2020, and it's coming out of the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 32, all the way into uh, the next book, chapter 5, uh, verses 1 through 11. And today's topic and title is Sharing Love. All right, word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this lesson. We thank you for each and every individual, God, that comes on and that's going to tune in and learn from your, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, from your awesome wisdom, God. Now, Lord, I ask you to bless everybody that is wanting to know more about you and let them learn what your objective is for them to learn out of this Sunday school session. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so let's get right into it. We got some power-packed, uh, awesome uh key notes for you guys and so you guys want to be sure to uh, have your pen and paper out and hang in here with us uh, all the way into the very end all right so the bible truth the bible truth says integrity in giving and sharing in the early church was valued and i'm gonna go ahead and read the memory verse to you guys and the multitude of them that believed were of one heart I like that word, one heart, and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. All right, so let's go right to light on the word. All right, so it's talking about Barnabas. And Barnabas, uh, his name means son of encouragement. And that's a good name to have. And then we have the, uh, he was a early converted Christian. And so, um, his character and faith brought him into a position, y'all, of leadership in the church. Now, when Paul, cause Paul, it, it talks about Paul in the, on you know, in light on the word and it talks about him and remember who Paul was. Paul was one that would persecute and was ready to kill, uh, the saints, uh, the, the Christians because he was, he, he, he was totally against them. And so when Paul converted many of the Christian believers just did not, uh, trust him. They were afraid to accept him. And then Barnabas, his role in this, Barnabas played a, a good role in this because, um, he eased their fear by speaking on the apostles behalf. And how many of you know that God will send somebody just for you to speak on your behalf? All right. All priests were Levites, but not all Levites can become priests. They must be descendants of Aaron. And so that kind of gives you a brief description of light on the word. So when you're getting ready to teach the Sunday school lesson, or when you're getting ready to just learn for yourself, these are some key points in the section for light on the word. All right, so helping hearts. Let's make sure I got that right. Yes, but before we uh, talk about helping hearts, um, I do want to point out one more thing about the book of uh, Acts. Okay, so uh, believers share their time and resources. So it's talking about us. In the now, us that are in this present time, we don't just share money. We share time, our resources. And that's what this is all about. Because it talks about Ananias and Sapphira and 
and and it talks about the giving and the dishonesty and so that's why we want you guys to learn about the importance of honesty and your giving and that your heart is in the right place all right so helping hearts talking about the book of acts a book that is fundamentally about christ continuing work in the world through his body now who is the body he's talking about he's talking about the christians the church and so now christ is gone he's gone to be with the father he's now sitting at the right hand side of him and so his continuing work through his body which is the body of christ the ones that are left behind which is peter barnabas and so forth and they are going to continue this is what this chapter focuses on the continuation on their work and this is what they're going to do that what they're set out to do all right now this book it shifts from the focus on peter then it shifts to john and then it shifts to the focus on the new christ following community why is this because remember in the beginning of the book it talks about peter and john and how they are imprisonment and then this is something that's um that is going to happen uh that possibly could happen to the rest of the followers because for his namesake many of us will be hated many of us will be persecuted but he's letting us know if we stand strong if we just hold on and stay in the race and stay in the faith with god he's going to send someone to speak on our behalf or he's going to deliver us out of the problems he will make provision he will make way for you and i amen all right so the believers shared all they had with each other to make sure everyone was taken care of now this is a, a, the, the reason why they were doing this is because of the position that they were in now the, the sunday school text talks about them sharing all that they had because the holy spirit was upon them he was in their lives because they were um, wanting to make sure everybody was taken care of and for us today my sisters and brothers we want to make sure that we can share our love our help our time our resources with others with whatever we can and have the right heart about it and i want you guys to know we're building up to something here because we're gonna get to ananias and sapphira in just a minute but we got to have the un the, the background of all this that builds up to the to, to the end point because it's no uh, it, at no time is it good to tell a lie, but we got to make sure that when we are doing something that it's from the heart and that we're not doing it because of any other reason, because God is watching and he's on the throne and he sees our heart. And so he knows it anyway. So the believers shared all they had and letting you guys know a key point that you want to make sure that you point out that is very important is that this was voluntary nobody forced them to give nobody forced them to sell their land this was voluntary y'all and so this was something that it, if you felt compelled to do it then you did so and it was just it was strictly i want to make sure we got that that it's voluntary so when we get to the part we need to for the sunday school lesson for you to learn that part um and grow with knowing what and gain knowledge we know that this simply is voluntary this act of voluntary okay so at the beginning of acts it talks about and i just spoke about this the imprisonment of john and peter um because of the death of jesus christ the uh the the, the christians were cast out of their jewish community and families and so they were cast out of one family but because they were of another family through the holy spirit uh connected to god the father that they, they, they took care of one another they had 
want a heart to want to help each other. They wanted to lend a helping hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so when we have Christ on the inside of us, Holy Spirit dwells in us. We want to help in any way that we can with any of our resources, whether it's time, whether it's the resources, whether it's uh, words of encouragement, whatever it is that God is allowing for us to give. That's what we must do because we are uh, one body. We're all together in this thing. Amen. All right. So despite the persecution, they Christ the Christians were spirit filled, praying loving and a united community. Now they were going through all this being put out by relatives being put out of their, their, their town of their Jewish community. And they all, despite all this, they were spirit filled. They were praying because they knew the connection and the, the greatness about God's son, Jesus Christ. They knew how valuable it is to lend a helping hand to be the children of God. And so praying and loving, and this is for us today in today's time. We got to be praying and loving, spirit filled. That means you feel with the Holy Ghost in a united community. There is no separation. There is no this side and that side. We all come together. So if I'm coming up, I'm going to bring you up with me. Why? Because that's love. That's love. And this is what this is all talking about this quarter sharing love confident love and it telling us to love our enemies love our neighbors amen and love our fellow christian that's what this is all about and oh what a great sunday school lesson it is all right so followers of christ voluntarily sought to meet one another's needs because they recognize that they were in a real sense united with uh, one another in their faith in Christ. Now, let's look at something we can do today to volunteer, to seek to help somebody else and to uh, meet the needs of another person. We surely can go to the homeless shelter and volunteer to work in the soup kitchen. We can send clothes that are too small for us or our children that we don't have need of. Make sure you clean them up first. We can, um, let's see, the battered women's shelter. We can donate there. You can have blankets. Uh, if you have extra blankets uh, because it's getting cold during this time of the year, you can send blankets. You can send money. Uh, you can buy canned goods and, and, and take that yourself. You also can share the word of God with them. Um, I know that we are under this pandemic. Yes, and we must be safe, y'all. But you know what we can do? We can still write letters. Yes, my sisters and brothers, we can write letters to the people on the inside and we can become a pen pal kind of like and, and, and don't give them your address, but you just write a letter and just drop it off and, and be safe with that. You know, you can drop it off at the front door and just put the names of the people on it uh, or, or do a recording, you know, and oh, thank you, Lord. Mm. Because that just get, that just came to me. So I, I I'm. I just got something there, y'all. But you can do a recording and record y'all praising and worshiping and, and send them the recording however God leads you to do so. Because when we voluntarily seek to meet the needs of another, that doesn't just mean that we put money in their hands. This also means that we're lifting up their spirits. And that's what this is all about. Serving helping one another, loving people, showing them the way, showing them that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and he loves us all. That's sharing the love. Sharing is caring. How many of you ever heard that? I know I have, and it is so true. Sharing is caring. Showing people that you care about them is sharing with, sharing the things that God has placed on the inside of you and given you power to get a hold to, too. You share that with them. You let them know how much you love them and you don't have to know them to love them. 
Amen. You don't have to know them to love them. I had to say that again because uh, some strangers say, you don't know me and, and you did this for me. Yes. That's because we love you. We, we have the love of God on the inside of us. Holy Spirit unctions us to seek to help someone. All right. This was a common pool under the authoritative uh, wisdom of the apostles that were trustworthy. Y'all, we're going to make sure we point that out. Who would then distribute according to the need. Now, the followers at this time in the Bible that is talking about that sought to meet the need of others and they would give the they would sell all they had they would uh because they, they they saw that other people were in need they didn't want anybody to go lacking they didn't want anyone to be uh hungry or unclothed so they come together a body of christ this is a true example of what christ is uh, a body of christ is and they got together and they sold their lands and everything they had to come together and to uh help others so it would be like equal all across so that they would be taken care of and so would the others but something to something good to point out is the trustworthiness and this is very important because when you are in position you are held accountable for being trustworthy so back then the apostles were uh the the ones that were you know in position were trustworthy to be over all this and so the proceeds that they got and gathered from uh all the things that they sold saying hey look i'm selling all this i'm a part of you guys we are one here's the proceeds here's the the money here's what what we got uh for what we sold and they gave it to somebody that was responsible and trustworthy to disperse everything out they distributed to everyone according to their needs they wasn't going to give this person more than this person because of the uh, uh because of the desire to have so and this is very important because according to your need that's what you should take you know you don't 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 be greedy is what i'm saying oh i'm enjoying this lesson all right so christians were marked by four things and i want to point these things out because you want to point this out in your sunday school lesson their unity in mind and soul this is why they all came together in agreement and made a pledge this was not something that was required it was voluntarily they voluntarily made a pledge uh, and they came together to let them know hey we're in this thing we in it together if you hungry we all hungry so we're gonna feed you we're gonna clothe you we're gonna shelter you because we are fed we are clothed we are sheltered and that's what god wants us to do today all right so their partnership of ownership the power and witness of the apostles and the grace of god which rests upon them now this lets you know that this was an act unto God. And so God's grace. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. This is this is awesome. Because God's grace. Come on now. His grace rested upon them. That let you know how serious this is. This let you know how serious that act up un, uh, unto God was. They gave what they had. But they did it because they love God. They love Jesus. And that's what we are here doing today. We love God and we love Jesus. And this is where our heart is. That's why our hearts are so big. And we want to give. We want to love. We want to share. We want to tell everybody. Because we love. And we're doing it unto God. All right. So uh, the overarching concept of their unity. The fellowship in the spirit. Their, their fellowship in the spirit. What does that mean? Their commune, their oneness. They were with one accord with this. There was no person that was off the court except for who we're going to get to here in just a little bit. But their, their togetherness, their agreement, their, their wanting to do this. How many of you had somebody to just have something catastrophic happen and a bunch of people get together and they volunteer. They volunteer to uh, come together to help meet the need of someone. Someone I uh, saw on Facebook and it was so beautiful. 
they had they was about to lose their home and 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 a lot of people just came out of the woodworks of nowhere and somebody gave them a house some people helped them load up they brought you hauls nobody asked these people to do it uh um to do anything uh, uh you know to tell them that they were going to get some in return but because they love they're volunteering their service to help another so this is what we can do we can look to help to volunteer to to serve someone you know that is um uh, that is in need. All right. So, um, no one claimed that their possessions was only theirs. Now, once they gave it up, once they, uh, submit the proceeds to the apostles, you know, they laid it at their feet and this, they, it, 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 that was like, okay, this is it. We, 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 we giving you what we had and we, we, we just like everybody else. There was no big eyes and little U's with the ones that had the right heart. And so their possessions weren't theirs anymore. They didn't want to do tit for tat. You know, some people like to do that. But in this sense, let's learn from them that uh, we don't need to do a tit for tat type of thing. And we don't need to count everything that we do. Because God is the one that uh, is counting all that. Future significant description of the early believers is that great grace was upon them all. When you truly have the love of God in your hearts, the Holy Spirit will prompt you and enable you, the believers, to help those in need by selling their properties and placing the proceeds at the apostles feet so i jumped ahead a little bit because i'm excited but that's what this is talking about holy spirit gives gave the believers he he enabled them to share to to want to sell he, he unctioned them to do so i'm doing this because i'm instructed by the holy spirit and how many of you know that when god tells you to do something nothing is 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 on stony ground because we're doing it because God asked us to do so. And that blesses us because when we are obedient, that that's, that's, that's beyond measures of what God is going to do for you. If you just think about it for just a second and an act of obedience, that means he going to take care of you because you did what he asked you to. And so let's be like that today. Let's do what God asked us to. He's going to, Holy Spirit will give you that unction to go to the shelter to go to all the uh few places that I named or uh, and there are many many more uh to help somebody else that's what it is it, it to be a helping hand the practice is voluntary and we must volunteer our time uh and must volunteer our resources must volunteer what God has given us because we can't be greedy we don't want to be this way we need to be giving you know when your hands are closed Nothing going in and nothing coming out. But if your hands are open, easily give, easily receive. All right. All right, so now we get to talk about the meat of the story. Because we had to talk about uh, the intro and so forth to get you prepared for this section. Talking about Ananias and Sapphira. Now these two or husband and wife that are claiming to be followers of Jesus Christ. We see this today. Psalms heart are not ready to do the work of God. They're partially there. They're halfway there. That's what this lesson is talking about. And see, that's what we are here to teach you. We take our Sunday school session very serious. And we know that teaching it to you blesses you and helps you change and wants you to better yourself so that you can live a lifestyle that's pleasing to God. How can we relate this? Because Sunday school is life. It's what we need today, every day, all day. All right, so these are Ananias and Sapphira. These uh, two are husband and wife and were claiming to be followers of Jesus Christ, but their heart wasn't there. They were still wanting to hold on to the world, the, uh, the, the material. They were wanting to hold on. And it, and it was the, the lie that, did, that, that was the, the focal point of this. It says they, get, they got together and planned to sell the property. So they wanted to look like everybody else. Now, you know, when you got a wolf in sheep clothing, that tail going to come out. The Lord is going to reveal that that's not a real 
child of God. That's not a real uh, sheep. It's a wolf type of situation. All right. So um, they gather together and plan to sell the property, but would hold back some of the proceeds. Now, need I remind you that um, this proceed was voluntary. That's why we talked about it just a few minutes ago, that it is voluntary. That means you, you volunteered to do so. But everybody that was volunteering, except these two that it talked about, was doing it from the heart. And I guess they were, if you can put it in a, uh, you, you put it in a phrase of um, what we would say today, they want to be like everybody else. Um, and how many of you see that sometimes that people just want to be like everybody else, but they don't mean it. It don't come from their heart. They just want to be like everybody else. And they're going to, uh, in turn, hold back a little bit because they don't want to be left out, but they're not ready to be all the way over here. And so when we see that this is Barnabas and I mean, this is Ananias and Sapphira. So they take, take back some of the proceeds and they lay some of the, pro some of the proceeds at the apostles feet and lied pretending this is the part where we really need to pay attention to put your seatbelts on and, and 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 stay glued to the screen because they came pretending that they had sold and gave it all gave all the proceeds but oh no holy spirit knew that they were lying because remember this was an act unto God and God gave all them grace and God had blessed us and God was all up in this thing. And so when they lied to Peter, they wasn't lying to Peter only. They was lying to the Holy spirit and their hearts wasn't in unity with the rest due to this deceit. They're deceiving people. We see this now that people deceive others because they want to look a certain way. They want to pretend that they got everything together or that they're really a part of the body of Christ. They're, they, that they're really ready for change or whatever it is that they're deceiving others, but you really not deceiving anybody but yourself because Holy Spirit knows all. And if he knew all then, he knows all now. So let's make sure that our hearts are in the right place, y'all. When we are giving, when we are doing the assignment, the will of God, because if you don't, it's just an act and lying will get you in trouble because deceit is lying. Mm -hmm. Because there was an unnecessary lie. Uh, all lies are unnecessary, but this hymn was so unnecessary because nobody told Ananias and Sapphira that you had to sell everything, that, that you had to give all the proceeds, that you had to do this and thus so. They wanted to be looked upon for show like everybody else. Come on, somebody. If you know somebody like this or if this is you, do a self-check and, and, and get it right. All right, so Peter lets him know that he was lying to the Holy Ghost. He and his wife both fell dead, y'all. And this was their punishment. So he came, they didn't fall dead together. Let me let me give it to you what, what happened, what that the scripture text talks about. And you guys make sure that you read it because I want you to read it for yourself because we like for you to read as we read. Amen. All right, so uh, Peter calls Barnabas. I mean, Ananias. Why do I keep saying Barnabas? I don't know, because I've been saying that name. Peter calls Ananias and asks him about his 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 deceit. And uh, Ananias didn't tell the truth. And so, because he let him know, hey, you didn't just talk to me. You talked to the Holy Spirit. He fell dead. Great punishment came upon him. And then two, the, the, the men drug him out and buried him quickly. Um, and that need to point that out in the Sunday school uh, lesson as well. And then three hours later, y'all, his wife comes in looking for her husband. And so in that, he speaks to her. Y'all, she had opportunity. She had, yes, she did. She had opportunity right then to get it right. But she held to the lie because she and her husband planned to do this together. And so both of them was planning to do this. And so both of their, them got punished together because of the action that they chose to, to do. 
the the deceit that they plan to to show uh, other people so they in they in turn receive the same reward of wickedness which is really a bad reward so she had opportunity to to turn but she fell dead also because they had planned this together and she had an opportunity to straighten it out and she did not and so she and he let her know the ones that took your husband out to bury him they had to drag him out they're gonna take you out also and she fell dead and don't you know god gives us chance he does so make sure that you you, you are giving wholeheartedly and give with a happy face give um the way God asks us to give. Amen. And that's in uh, love. All right. So it's never a good time to lie. We must remember that God is listening to us. Your lies will catch up with you. Got my glasses on? Yes, I do. So let's give you some words of wisdom real quick. We, When we commit to make a vow to do something, we must hold to what we said truthfully. We can plan to put on a show in front of everyone as if we were telling the truth and lying, but this is very dangerous territory to be stepping into. Let us evaluate our lives because evaluation is good and make sure that we are doing things wholeheartedly. So, uh, uh, allow, uh, also let us remember to see what we can do to share with others in our community. There is the homeless shelter, the battered women's shelter, the food pantry, boys and girls club, and so on. And many, many more that you can donate finances and time to. All right. So review time. Let's talk about um, the integrity of giving and sharing in the early church. They, the people in the early church saw what happened to Ananias and Sapphira, and they were scared because they saw how serious it was. They saw that this was a serious thing and that you cannot play with God. So how do we take that and apply it to our lives on today my brothers and sisters we can take how serious it is to live for God when you are preaching in that pulpit when you are over the finances in the church make sure that you have an accountability a partner and you are doing what's right when nobody's looking because your deceit will get you in so so much trouble with God because God wants us to be truthful with our giving be loving with our giving have the right motives with our giving amen and that's the review for this lesson we want to learn from Ananias and Sapphira that telling lies gets you in trouble with God and if God did not like it then he surely does not like it now all right, so y'all know what that means. You know what time it is. It is time for us to say we love you guys. I hope you all have enjoyed the Sunday school session. I have enjoyed teaching it to you, and it is another awesome, great lesson. Do us a favor. We know that you enjoy this word of God, and we want to keep giving you the word. We want to keep sharing with you, doing the Sunday school plays and so forth. So be sure to drop a comment, hit those thumbs up buttons, and give us some hearts to show us love and support the it's just encouragement and to show you too that you guys are enjoying uh, the materials that you are receiving i pray that you all have a blessed awesome week and have a happy happy thanksgiving and be safe love you all bye bye